Hey guys, I'm trying to like figure this out. I'm like, I'm parked in my car waiting for my kids to come back. And now it was just raining and I was like, oh, it's perfect time. And now the sun is shining like right at me. So if you can see me, I hope you can. If you can't, that's okay. If you're here, say hi. Um, if you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. Let me know that you're here. I just really was inspired to come on and just, I was just thinking about, you know, we did tarot today in the group and it's just so amazing to me the healing that can happen in such a short amount of time. And I'm kind of just going to go with all my thoughts here for, for a minute. I'm just kind of sharing it with you guys, so hope you don't mind. But, you know, I, I see women who come with such pain, such pain. They're crying all the time. They, they can't seem to get a grip on, you know, who they are or what they're worth. And, you know, mostly been damaged by other people in their lives. And, you know, to come from such pain and in one session, right, one session, a coaching session, a Reiki session, um, tarot even, because I coach during tarot, but like in one session to see them the next time and it's like that pain is gone, right? The, the crying is gone. And it, it's just, it's why I do what I do. And, you know, it, it's not easy for me, just to let you guys know. Like, it, sometimes it's not easy for me because, I, you know, all those negative thoughts in my mind get in there and say, you know, are you really helping? And, I mean, everyone says that I am, but those are my negative thoughts, right? We all have them. We're all human. And I think it's just really important to realize that we're all human and that we all go up and down and we all have our negative thoughts. And this full moon, let me tell you, it's kicking my butt. So leave me some comments below. Let me know you're here, first of all. I see a couple people on here, but I don't know who's watching. Um, and this one is kicking my butt. Like, I am, my mind is racing, negative thoughts like you wouldn't believe. And I'm like, what is happening? So let me know in the comments below how the full moon, which is tomorrow night in Scorpio, um, <laughs> how it's affecting you guys because I've reached out to some of my friends and they're like yeah it is no joke Chantel hey girl yeah she says you are not alone so I just really wanted to come on here and share to you you know I am doing the full moon ceremony tomorrow in the D Divine Empress Club and I will be doing card readings to, to let you know like where you're stuck but I'm really feeling inspired to use this energy because it is it is high energy to really, I feel like I'm spitting, um, to really transmute the energy that we have with inside ourselves, all the negative thoughts, all the, all the, this isn't going to work out. This isn't going to happen. Um, you know, like we're not going to get back to all the, all the negative thoughts that whatever you have in your head, I'm really feeling like I'm going to use that energy to transmute it to positive. I'm just feeling it and I'm so, I'm so excited for it. So I'm excited for that, but I wanted to come on and kind of just share that with you because if you're going through that right now, please, 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 and I love that the sun is just shining in my face. Please, please, please know that the full moon energy is here and I don't want you to go down the rabbit hole. I don't want you to go down. I'm gonna call, I, we're on tarot today. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna call it the ego hole. Right? I don't want you to go down the ego hole because it's harder to get out of it. I don't want you to go with the negative thoughts. I want you to say, wow, the full moon is here and, and my brain is racing. Just like I'm, I'm saying to you that I have to be aware that, wow, these are not my regular thoughts. And I always talk about like default energy and what your default energy is. And when you don't feel it, right, you feel like something's wrong. Like this isn't who I really am all the time. Something's up. So this something up, I feel like, is the full moon coming in and really kind of bringing to the surface what needs to be released. Um, you know, that's what the full moon is all about, is about releasing things, uh, releasing things that no longer serve you and are holding you back from living the life that you want to live. And this one, I feel, right, I'm not an astrologer or anything or whatever, but I really, they're making me feel like it's going inside and it is coming up. So I want you to be aware of whatever is coming up for you around this time and around, around the moon, around this full moon, right? Um, because it, it's coming to a surface for something. Like I'll, I'll take, give you an example. Like my stuff that's coming up is my ex and our co-parenting relationship. And I'm realizing how, you know, I'm 
I'm living my life around that and how I have no control over it whatsoever. And I now am realizing that I need to set some boundaries around it. I need to set some boundaries around how I um, feel about my children with the co-parenting relationship. I need to set some boundaries around the co-parenting relationship. Um, because right now I feel like I'm totally, I have a loss of control here. And so there's areas in our lives that we might be really, really strong with our boundaries and control. But, and not saying that you have to control everything, but when you set boundaries, you feel like your life is in control, okay? In, yeah, in alignment. And then w there's some other areas that might need some more work. And I feel like this full moon, leave me some comments, show me some love. I only see one comment, show me some love. <laughs> um, you know, I feel like this full moon is going to bring out the the sections of your lives or the yeah, I guess whatever, the 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 parts of your lives that your boundaries are really weak with right now. The ones that are overwhelming you. So if if something has been kind of overwhelming you but you haven't really realized it, I feel like this full moon is going to bring that out at you. Now if you're Scorpio on on the other hand, I feel like this this full moon is going to um be a little bit different for you. But I know um, I know for, I know I'm a Leo, I know my friend's an Aquarius, so, and I know there's other ladies today, hey Katie, like Katie, and like, you know, that it might be affecting you differently than everybody else, right? So Scorpio, I feel like they might be okay right now, but if you're other signs, like this could definitely be bringing up some stuff for you, and I'm here to share to you that I don't want you to just let it go by, I want, I want you to really kind of, um, uh, look at it, look at it and say, wow, like maybe I do need to change some things around this part of my life. It could be relationships. It could be work for me. It's family and kids and co-parenting, but you know, whatever is coming up for you right around this time and tomorrow, because it is a full moon tomorrow, um, just look at what is coming up. Because a lot of us, you know, we, we know we need to change something. We know that everything might not be great, but like we never really know what it is. And whatever's coming up for you, wherever you are overwhelmed right now, make sure to look at it. Because this is a, this is a, they're saying like sign from the universe that if you take this, look at it and change something, establish boundaries around it, that your life will change. Okay. And it doesn't have to be hard. A lot of us think changing our lives is hard. It doesn't have to be that hard. All it has to do is take like a, a little tweak. Just like I, on when I came on in the beginning of this video saying that in one session, you know, some of the women in the club are basically going from so much pain to, to kind of like opening their eyes and releasing the pain and figuring out how to move forward. And it's so amazing to see. And like I said, that's why I do what I do. But anyway, so I wanted to share that with you about the full moon because it is here. It is strong. I am feeling it. Um, and yeah, so if you're in that boat, just make sure you look at what's coming up around you. Um, join me tomorrow in the full moon ceremony. I really want to do it outside of my house because if it's not cloudy, the moon is like right there and it was gorgeous yesterday and forgot to take a picture, but it was just gorgeous. So, um, I might try that, see if the internet works out there. My neighbors might think I'm a little bit crazy. So Katie says the pressure is mounting. I can no longer procrastinate or avoid this lesson from the universe. Absolutely. Yeah. The universe will keep pushing, push, 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 push until you make the change. And this is the thing. And I've heard this before with some of my clients is that, you know, um, it's easier to make that change when you're ready for it rather than when the universe comes in and says, Hey, you haven't done it yet. Like I'm going to do it for you. That's what happened to me two years before I was like ready for it mentally, emotionally ready for it. And then all of a sudden, like I tried to work at it, tried to get better. And then it was like, Hey, we're going to do this for you because we need you, I guess is what they're saying. So it was like, boom, and everything fell apart in one night. So Katie says, I'll be outside too if it's nice. Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, it's going to be nighttime for me, so it'll be dark. So I don't know how that's really going to work. But we'll see. Maybe, 
Like maybe I can do it in my kids' room because then maybe they can see the moon. Hmm, I'm gonna figure this out. But yeah, so join me tomorrow in the Divine Empress Club if you wanna do the full moon ceremony with us. It's gonna be awesome. Um, a lot, like, like I said, a lot of energy and I can just feel the Reiki that's gonna be coming out. So I think it's really gonna be good. It's only a dollar to join for the first month. Um, see if you like it, see if it's if it can help you in a short amount of time, which I see that it's happening and so excited. So anyway, so happy full moon if you want to say happy full moon, but it is happy because even if it's there and it's putting that pressure on us and it's making things come up, it's good stuff, guys. It's good stuff. So deal with it, embrace it, and figure out what the universe is trying to show you. And that is what I have to say today. All right, much love to you. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.